Hello and welcome to part three of uh, our player profile series. I'm Still giving... sweating from part one and two. Some tough choices Al's thrown at me here. Player profile videos, the script has been torn up and Al is now throwing these players at me. So I have to answer what he's saying on the fly. This is his third player. Let's yeah, because I think doing. sometimes you get, um, you know, perhaps your first thought is probably the best one. Your, your truest thought. So yeah, well, thanks for giving me two think. tricky running backs. Is there somebody else you've got lined up for this one? Yeah, or? yeah. It's not a running back, though. Mm. You'll be pleased to know. Oh, good. This yeah. guy is ADP of 22. Oh, that's a so, good... So this this is interesting. Yeah, I like these high picks. Okay, uh, who's He was this? a breakout player last year. Breakout. Tight end. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're talking George Kittle. Right, okay. Yeah. So he's going 22. So that's in the second round, basically. Yeah, second round of any... Pretty much any league format except 10-man. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are your thoughts? Is he worth it or not? Nobody is. No tight end is worth it except the top guy, which is Travis Kelsey. The only person worth a second round pick is Travis Kelsey. Um, and the only reason he's worth that is because he will exceed his metric. So he will get you 180 fantasy points. He did that last year. We correctly pricked that out that he was the number one tight end to own. He's still the number one tight end to own because, if anything, Kansas's situation has got slightly more murky, particularly the first few weeks of the year. So if anything, you could say the uptick is even better. Um, he's consistent, Kelsey. He gets catches. He gets seven. He gets five. He gets eight. He gets nine. He gets ten. He gets touchdowns. He does everything the Titan has well, to do. George Kittle does that, doesn't he? George Kittle is in a situation well, where... Let me tell you who he's, sam well, who he's sandwiched between. Yeah. The sort of players. So... Th You've got to pick between Mike Evans, Antonio Brown, T.Y. Hilton, A.J. Green. These are the players that are going round. I'm not, I, I, I'm not taking Kittle over any of them. None of them. I'm sorry, Kittle would have to drop into round four or five for me. I'm not taking these tight ends. No way. Why, why is he so high? I know he had a breakout well, year. He had a breakout year. He scored well. He ended up tight. He finished tight end three, I think, off the top of my head. And and he was worthy. He was worthy of his position. There's no doubt about that. But you're in the second round. You have to score 180 points. I just want people to look at standard scoring tight end numbers. Go and scroll through any data on this. Look at them, and then realize that there is such a high chance that this guy does not deliver that again. I mean. The team is still in build mode. It's still in transition. Quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo is going to come back. There's no guarantees of that kind of chemistry. There's a lot of things that can go wrong well, here. Th that's a fair point because when we talk Kittle having a breakout year, it's not with the quarterback that he's going to be playing with this year. So the chemistry might be different. Completely. I mean, and that's something that a lot of you know and, analyzers. And, and miss. I'm going to be totally honest with this. Like, so uh, from a quarterback's perspective, right? So from a person who played the position and then. What what I like around me, where my 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 eyes, I don't want my tight end going down the seam, and I I say that all I say that all the time to him. He said, "Well, I, I don't get used in that role in our team." I said, "Yeah, because you're protecting me." Yeah, I said that's why I don't want you rolling it. Now there will always be the odd play. I'll definitely set you up for one, and that will be a big play for you, rather than four or five little catches for four or five yards. But I get killed in the process. No thanks. I don't want that. And, and the problem is some quarterbacks are like that. With, and they are like that. They don't want the tight end going down the seam. So they will hold that quarterback there. Sorry, that tight end there. Yeah, you can have Brent Selleck or every... The other Jimmy, tight end. Jimmy Garoppolo's coming back from quite a serious injury. I, I, I think the chemistry will be completely different. I can't, you can't replicate what happened the year before. It's a There's different a lot of ball change, game. isn't there? Lots that? of stuff going on. I mean, I quite like Who Debo. do you think the, the wide receivers will be there? Well, Samuel will be one. Debo Samuel will be one that will come through the pack. I mean, I really like him. Well, um, that Marquis Goodwin, any chance? Yeah, I think, I think a lot of people have highlighted... Dante Pettis. Yeah, I mean, again, I think Marcus Goodwin, people have highlighted that he could be a, a, a good player there. But this, this is... A team that is is really in build mode transition mode they don't really have any what i would call obvious leaders you're going to look for the quarterback here jimmy garoppolo to come back from injury and lead the squad and show his leadership skills i, I think he's quite a good quarterback but we've still got to see him put a season together yet so i kind of think he if you you know you kind of look at him and think i'll, I'll, I'll give him another year and see what i think of him really after a year of play because i can't really judge what i saw in a few games before he got injured and as for Kittle. I'm not touching tight ends. There's only one guy I would even dream of taking, and how, even how he has to fall to the I third round. I don't understand how he can be in, you know, you know, Keenan Allen, T. Y. Hilton, Antonio Brown, Mike Can't. Evans area. Shouldn't ever be. It's wrong. It's wrong on a lot of levels. I mean, people will say to you, right? So in fantasy circles, say, "Oh, but scarcity of position, tight end is really valuable." Uh, no, because 
the rest of your league bar about three people. So no matter what size, if it's a 10-man league, it's only 30% of the teams own a top three tight end. The rest of the teams have packed tight ends all doing the same numbers. So don't give me scarcity position. You've lost out on a running back or a wide receiver one. No, you won't replicate that again. When you go three or four rounds down, you will never find that pick again. I could find a tight end down there that could do Kittle's numbers. His name Delaney Walker. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm never going to touch this guy. You can get him any pick you like. Any pick you like. I'd rather take a shot on him. You know, I really would. I mean, I just cannot let myself fall into the trap of tight ends. sort of players, I think it's about finding them the year before. The not, value. Yeah, you want, the value. You know, you want somebody... Kittle, you identified Kittle the year before he broke out. I did, yeah. Right? That's perfection, right? So that's what you want because you're not paying top two round pick. I mean, I think he picked, you could have picked him any time you like at the end of the draft board, and I think he did. Um, perfect like Lindsay last round of a job that's perfect because you have got yourself a, a top player a bargain, don't you don't want them this round where they have to give you have to, there's no argument he has to exceed 180 fantasy points to return the value because for every 10 points lost you might as well have gotten the round before so if he if he under, if under delivers by 20 30 40 points you've killed yourself somewhere else and I know this from years of drafting and making those errors. You know, we've got to have those errors to realise the mistakes. He's going 19 places above Zach Ertz. I just can't do it. Can't. It just it's just mental. Makes Sorry. no sense, does it? Don't do it. And he don't fall for Even in premium leagues with tight end scoring, right? unless it's something exceptional, like three points a reception or something, yeah, forget then, it. Then that changes. That it. changes the game. But even for an extra half a point a catch, no, don't do it to yourself and swerve. Honestly, Swerve, get a better player. I can't do it. I mean, I, I like the player. I like the tight end. I would see him being in that top five. Yes, I could see that. But I'm not paying around two premium for that. I'm sorry. There are other players. I bet I get close to it and I don't come anywhere near picking a tight end until very late, if at all, frankly. Oh, I just don't understand the ADP. I don't know. No. But it is the way it is. And this is how people are drafting. So Some it's real data. Some people as high as 15. Um, I hope they come and join our leagues. I'd like okay. I'd like to see a tight end drafting person come and join our league. I mean, there is. I mean, That's above players like Juju Smith Schuster. You know, I, I you know even even Kelsey. You know, he's he. I can see the logic of we could talk about him in a round two, but I would rather get him in round. I mean, three. some people are talking Kelsey round one. Uh, I, no, I'd say I'd want to get him in round three. It's never going to happen, so I won't ever be getting shares of him this year. So that's fine. I'm okay with that. But I'm never taking Kit either. Not that. Yeah, well. I think George Kittle. We've. Uh... We've both agreed. George Kittle, get the cat long because you ain't getting picks, sir. That's ADP 22 uh, from no, us. No thanks. Oh. Okay, what do you think? I mean, a lot of people, if they own Kittle, you, you get carried away with the euphoria about how well he did for you last year. You picked him up late or off waivers. Um, he had a great year. He might have helped you win a championship, but you now you're paying the big price for him, the big bucks. So yeah, I think it's a player to avoid for this year. Great player to cash in on Dynasty. That's what I would say. That's the perfect moment to pounce. His price probably will never be higher than And this it. will be the perfect moment to pounce because people think, oh, you're giving him up. Wow. Okay, what do you want? I want a first-round pick and a player, please. I'll take Delaney Walk on your next first. That's what I'd do for one season and see where we go from there. Okay. People, well, pounce. we always... Uh, I mean, you know, if, if you're a Kittle fan, you know, tell us why. Um, yeah. yeah. Would you pick him at 22? Would you do it in the second round? And if you wouldn't, where would you be comfortable taking him? I'd love to know what your thoughts are on that. I mean, just look at the players around him. It's got to be a no. No, it's got to be. It's, okay. that's, that's a great choice but um, no. if you've enjoyed the video leave a like and maybe um, I'll like somebody one day I haven't liked any of yours yet well I I'm picking them for a reason because I'm Thanks. pretty <laughs> I know Sean you see you know inside out <laughs> yeah that's a worry isn't it okay uh, thanks very much for watching